everybody. Linda Ray, Texas Girls Farm. And as you can tell by the sky, it's a little overcast. I think they're calling for rain tomorrow, but it's nice breezy. Um, as you can see, I'm still tending to the pile down there. And yesterday afternoon, I went and cleared all the vines off the fence. I need to go to her side and see if I can't get the mower. I know there's some branches right up against that part, but I could throw them over and then take them over up there. And then one of the, uh, uh, my subscribers suggested making a, 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 a very dense salt water solution and coming back and spraying all that. So uh, I won't have that problem without having to use poisons. And here comes June. But um, you see the most of the vines I put over there. I put a bunch over here, but I burned those up yesterday. But there's a bunch there. Cut some of those tree limbs that were hanging over the fence, some small ones. But uh, yeah, it looks so, so much better. And of course, look at the leaves. <laughs> I rake and Mother Nature provides me more leaves. So I've been adding to that pile. I've pretty much got all that area in there cleaned up except for the other side. And then I've got a pile there, a pile there. There's a pile on the other side of that tree and a pile here. So, and I've just started um, pulling out some of the stuff. So what I thought I would do was gradually just work my way around. Um, and a bunch of it still that mulch from when um, Blackjack... Um, land clearing Chris Jones came and um, mulched everything so a bunch of that is still down but um, it's looking so much better I mean just I'm, I'm excited yeah it's a, uh, it's a uh, physical labor as far as raking all this up is fine and I'll rake around that tree some more before I set that on fire oh and I still got to set that on fire but I figured I'd let some of those vines um, kind of get die back and um, but around that tree I'll rake real good before I ever start to try to set that fire and um, depending on how much it rains tomorrow and what what the winds like I'm watching the hammock just blow back and forth back and forth but uh, before I set that one or that one on fire since they're so close to our property it's not that i'm afraid it's really going to go anywhere but i don't want to take any chances this right here as far as the leaves and stuff there's i've got most of the big sticks up so i'm not really worried about it that area is pretty good i pulled up some limbs from back there yesterday but a little bit of the mulch and stuff i'm not worried about it. i mean i've already went over all this with the mower I'm just trying to clean up the thicker areas that have a lot of um, little branches and stuff but the mower can run over that and it's not going to hurt anything but yeah I've started trying to rake out around all the trees just clean it up a little bit and um, I just wanted to make sure this fire was going this morning because I told Junior we would not stay out here working we would go back up and make us some eggs this morning since we've been kind of skipping breakfast but um early this morning uh it was probably before 6 30 um a builder showed up and so i guess they're getting ready to get started on that praise the lord thank you jesus and uh yeah maggie was outside junior was inside and i was awake i was watching what was I watching? Oh, the the Hollers, the Holler Homestead over in North Carolina. I hadn't watched any of their videos for a while and uh, was watching that video. I, I'd been back and forth to sleep from about 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock. And at 6, I just kind of stayed awake. And, uh, yeah, the Holler Homestead. If y'all had never checked them out, go check them out. It's a young couple with... How many kids? I think they've got four boys and the little girl now. And he, oh, they're both handy. I mean, she can, 
she can cook anything she preserves she she oh, she does it all to make soap she hasn't been making any soap lately because she's been too uh, busy doing food plus feeding all of them and he can do anything he has so many skills and yeah they're a young couple that came i think sold everything from colorado found them their piece of land in north carolina and started making it their home and um, they're workers um, i like the youtube channels that uh you know yeah you see the people out doing it i wish i was 10 years younger maybe 15 years younger and y'all see me doing some of my own as far as the building you probably see when it goes to the inside but um, I mean, I did put the lean-to shed for the chicken um, coop on, but um, yeah, I hate that I have to um, hire it out, but it's going to get done faster, so, and I figured, you know, what better use to uh, spend the, the money that I got for the sale of my house plus some of my retirement than um, on my home. And uh, it's not going to be anything fancy. So, nothing fancy. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really glad how um, everything's looking. Uh, you know, this, this is pretty much what I have in mind for all of that over there. Um, leave the wooded sections where there's a whole circle of hollies over there. But we still got, y'all seen the fence, so there's plenty of... Of trees and stuff over there plus we still got this and I don't want all this cleared out I just want it opened up where if you're at the top of the hill you can see down here so yeah so I've got that going burning slow so June June you ready for some breakfast yeah you ready for some breakfast let's go fix some breakfast so we're gonna go fix some breakfast and we'll be back out um, I'll come and check I don't think I'm gonna set anything else on fire today um, yeah I think I besides what's already going I think that's all I'm gonna do but we'll see what the day brings because you never know I, li I, I like getting out here working I mean y'all can see how big that pile right there has grown from the other day it's almost as big as that one was and I just keep raking more stuff to it, trying to get as all this stuff will be raked up before I set that one on fire. I have raked up some, but I'll make it where you can see the dirt all the way around it, so we don't have to worry about it venturing off. Not that it hurt anything over here if it ventured off, but you know, have it controlled. So we'll be back with y'all. Good evening, everybody. Let's break. Texas Girls Farm. Well, I did go down and burn some more today. There's three piles um, in the goat pen, and then there was another one right there. I trimmed up that tree, and then there's a small one right by that lumber, and then there's that one that's still burning. And then I went back over there and raked the stuff from the small pile to the bigger pile. And, um, uh, yeah, I had to take my phone in and put it on the charger, so I didn't film anything. So, yeah, so I worked some more. It, it, it looked so much better. Got all that pieces of wood, and even um, you can't really tell it from up here. I'll try to show you all tomorrow. Uh, depending, it's supposed to rain, but a path um, is all clear um, down there on the left-hand side of all those um, piles and there's Grace and there's Dutton I threw him some oak leaves in there and they're eating anyway that said um, if you like the content please hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed come over to the channel and subscribe and we appreciate those of you that have already came and subscribe and leave us a comment I appreciate it and I love interacting with you guys and um, since it's getting dark out here as you can see all the lights on in the greenhouse light all the lights are on uh, we're gonna call that 
a wrap for today. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. If it rains, I don't know what I'm going to do. So we'll catch y'all later. Mm -hmm.